Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Savannah Elizabeth and today we are going to talk about subscription boxes and services. Just Fab, FabFitFun, SavageX Fenty, BoxyCharm, Ipsy, and Birchbox. I took a handful of notes to prepare for all of this. Future Sav stepping in. Just want to mention that this video is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. None of these brands, subscription companies, whatever you want to say, know I'm talking about this or probably even know I exist. So every opinion mentioned here is just my opinion and just wanted to kind of talk and tell you what I think. Let me know down in the comments what you think about what I said. Do you have any, you know, arguments about it? Do you have your own opinion? I want to know what you think down below. We are going to start off with the subscription services. And those are Just Fab and Fab, bleh, Savage X Fenty by Rihanna. I am excited, nervous and curious to see what everyone's response to this video will be. So Just Fab is $39.99 a month. You skip by the fifth month, or if you skip the month by the fifth of the month, you will not be charged. But if you forget to skip, you will be charged for the $39.99. <sighs> Things can be more than that, can be less, but the third, $39.99 just gives you the deal to go purchase the clothes, but you can't really get the things without the subscription, so I don't know, it bugs me. I have found a few really nice pieces off there that I wear regularly. I have one, two, four tops from them that I wear really often, actually. Like, really often. They're all long sleeve shirts, too. I love them to death, and there's some pieces I really adore, some I don't. They do have a new kids section, but you have to like subscribe to that separately unless you're only buying a couple items that are available not through that section, which is kind of obnoxious. I've bought a couple pairs of kids shoes on there. You can return items, but it's a pain in the butt. I have major anxiety with returning things, which sucks. I have a tendency to be anxious about it and then put it off and put it off and then never return things. I've had problems with customer service when it came to resetting my password so I could even purchase things. It wouldn't let me reset and I'm like, excuse me? And every time it would try to let me reset, there would be nothing for me to click to do anything so I had to spend an hour on the phone with customer service and he was pretty much telling me I'm wrong over and over and over. Then he got me, got another person and then they worked together and got it fixed. And I was like, don't treat me like I'm an idiot, please. I told that with that enough on the phone with the photo department customer service when I worked at Walgreens, like the higher up photo stuff with machines. Cause I did all the machine repairs and stuff. So they had to walk me through a lot of stuff and yeah. Did you try this to fix it? Yes, I've done this before. I've, do I've dealt with this kind of a problem. It's not fixing the problem. So yeah, okay. Um, they do have quite the size range. It's harder though to find a si thing in your size though somehow when you're going into the plus size range like <sighs> I feel like they just have a smaller quantity for the plus sizes. So a lot of those tend to be out of stock and they have quite the price range. It's a lot. You Things are a little overpriced, a little bit, but usually it's not too bad and I can usually make it work if I'm, you know, getting enough for free shipping. I already have the credits that having the credits though, that is one way to make someone purchase stuff they don't need. They don't want their money just sit there and sit there and sit there, so they just buy stuff. That's how I end up with things. I have an actual reminder on my phone to tell me 
on the second of the month to skip each subscription service. Yeah, that's sad. So that is just fab. Now on to Savage X Fenty. They are $49.95 a month and also you have to skip by the 5th of the month for them otherwise you will be charged as well. Their bra sizing sucks. I can't get a smaller band with a bigger cup. Their sizing just sucks. It's pretty similar to Victoria's Secret. Which, that's great. That's great. I have credits and I can't figure out how to use them because I skipped the month and then it looks like it wants to charge me new money. I'm like, I'm confused. So I'm going to have to deal with customer service for that. And pretty much the only thing I really like from them is their uh, thongs. The, the string ones. <laughs> they fit really nicely. They're really comfortable. They wear really nicely. I have multiple pairs. So um, if I get to use my credits, I'm seriously probably just going to buy a bunch of those in different colors because I have a bunch of black ones. <laughs> I, I'm not a big fan of how they have like metal decals on the back of some of them though. But overall, I like their, their selection. There are designs. Some of them are a little loud and not great for my body type. But, oh well. And again, with them, I have anxiety with returning things if I don't like them. And then I have to try to figure out what to do with things that I'm not wearing. Did you hear that? Don't scare me. It's like the world is coming after me. You're talking about these things, Savannah. We're calling for you. <laughs> but yeah. So between the two, I get more use out of just fab though, honestly, because it's actual clothes that people see. And yeah, I have looked at the pants and clothing items on Savage X Fenty and their sizes are really confusing. I'm like, okay, that would probably fit my waist, but I'm short. I can't find things that would work for me. I'm not a fan of just, I don't want logos on things. Just give me the clothes without the logo. All right, so just fab is preferred, but I have one thing I'm obsessed with from ben Savage X Fenty. On to the other things. We have four more to talk about. <laughs> So next up, we're going to talk about the two that I canceled the longest time ago. So Ipsy, we're going to talk about Ipsy and Birchbox first. So the Glam Bag is five deluxe size products for a month for $12. Apparently I raised $12 when I was fixing writing how I wrote a month. So oops. So when they say deluxe sizes, it is not the full size. They're smaller. So it's nice to have that to be able to try a variety of products, but I just found that I just wasn't using the samples. Glam by Egg Plus is five full-size products for $25 a month, which does sound more reasonable, but very similar to BoxyCharm. And I've been liking BoxyCharm a bit more, so I think that's a good switch for me there. They also had this thing called Glam Bag X Chloe Kardashian, which is a quarterly upgrade for $55, which is eight products with a $529 value. No thanks, I'm not a Chloe Kardashian fan. Sorry. So Ipsy is just a meh. I, I have a bunch of bags from when I did try it and I just, I get, when I give things away, I'll put things in those bags. Like, you go I don't want this bag here you go here you go the girls have a few in their room that they use playing to play with when it's like their little personal playing house in their room it's so cute they're cute I just I didn't like the stuff I was getting in Ipsy things were not working for my skin tone whatsoever really it just was not worth it to me so I canceled that fairly quickly then I went and I tried Birchbox, which was better than Ipsy, I will say that, but it's still full full of these little tiny little samples and these own little boxes, which I'm glad. I prefer that they do, do the boxes versus the bags because the boxes you can recycle 
and I was just sitting on a stash of bags that I didn't need. So with them, it is $15 a month, or you could do a six month subscription, 14 a month, which is 168 for the year, 12 months, just buying the whole year, which is $13 a month, total for $156 a month, uh, bleh, a year. But if you did the monthly subscription, just each each time for a whole year, that would be $180. So it does save you $24 if you just prepay for the whole thing. It's just five samples a month and just kind of a meh, meh, meh. Fairly similar to Ipsy, so just kind of a blah, what I've noticed. So I'm glad I've canceled both of those. Now we can go on to the two that I actually get still. <laughs> So Boxy Charm is seriously my my go-to. I love it. I use I use past boxes to help hold up filming stuff. <laughs> my mic's sitting on a box. My mirror to make sure that I'm filming is sitting on two boxes and then another container. So I use box items from Boxy Charm regularly. In this makeup look, how many things here did I use from a subscription box? That I, I believe it's from BoxyCharm. My Wander Beauty Double Date Lip and Cheek. Use this. Violet Voss, All of You Forever. Too Faced Coco Contour. Touch and Soul I See Sherbet Primer. Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder in Lavender. Glow Recipe, Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist, and then the mascara, which is Petite and Pretty Fully Feathered Volumizing Mascara. So I used a quite a quite a bit of uh, items today from it. Oh, and my blending sponge is from one of their boxes as well. So subscription details quick. $25 a month or $300 a year. It the standard box does 170 val the standard box is $170 value minimum. Three months subscription is $23.33 a month, prepay 70, which would be $280 a year. Six months, $23 prepay, $138 for the six months, and $276 for the year. Twelve months. $22.92 a month or you prepay $275 a year and that is saving you $25 if you just prepay for the whole year which I believe is what I do. They do have a variety of options. They have the BoxyCharm Premium which is $35 on those boxes which are $275 value minimum again. And Boxy Charm or Boxy Lux is $49.99 per box. And it's up to $455 value. As you can see, I've gotten a bunch of boxes. Let's take a moment and count. One, two, three. This is not all the boxes I have ever had. I've lost some of these along the way. Four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I have 18 cards. I know I've gotten way more than that. Probably at least 24 boxes. Pretty sure I've been getting them for like two years now almost. So. <laughs> I really enjoy them. They also have their boxy charm, boxy pop-ups where you can add things and get more products for a deal. I have not purchased through those, but it is an option. Things are heavily discounted when you do it that way. And you can customize your box to a certain extent. I've gotten a few amazing products that I'm absolutely obsessed with and have changed my life essentially and how I do my makeup. I love the variety of eyeshadow palettes I get from the boxes. It pushes me out of my comfort zone and helps me try new products and I try new brands just from the box itself. Things that I've been wanting have come in that I was like, it's too expensive to try. I don't want to spend that much money. Oh, it's in a box charm. I'm happy now. Oh crap, I love this. I want to buy this for real now, dang it. 
right now. And they have been partnering with Natasha Denona. Like her eyeshadow palettes are expensive. They are expensive. And getting those in a BoxyCharm is pretty awesome, I think. So BoxyCharm I absolutely love. I have, I believe I, I switched to just the standard box because I was getting way too much coming in that I wasn't using and I just felt the need to cut back. Nothing against Foxy Charm. It's just I, I can't use as many products as I was getting. Oh, I, I felt like I could do my makeup every day for the rest of my life. And because more boxes are coming in, I would never get through all my makeup. Ever. Yeah. All right. And last but not least is FabFitFun. So it's up to eight products, which is awesome. I got, I use this when I'm filming this little baby mirror here and it's awesome it's got a little charger a button so it turns on I'm trying not to show you everything in my life here I like it it's great and I just get such a variety of things that I love I use a pillowcase from there every night to go to sleep I use a fluffy fuzzy blanket from them every night in bed and then I have another one exactly like it in a different color that stays downstairs on the couch. I use so many things from the box in my everyday life honestly. I love it. There's been some hits, there's been some misses, but overall I think it's pretty worth it. It's $49.99 seasonally per box. You can get them four times a year so $199.96 if you Go the route of buying each box individually, seasonally, however you want to say it. And you get only four customizations. If you do the annual subscription, which is $179, which is about $20 cheaper, so you're saving $20, you get to customize your entire box and pick things and you get to customize before other people, which is awesome. I do the yearly subscription and I love it. I've gotten at least eight boxes, I believe, from the from FabFitFun. I really do enjoy it. They have these add-on sales where you can buy things heavily discounted, which I've gotten a handful of awesome things from there as well. If there's an extra customization option that you want, you can just quick add that on. You can the add-ons are really nice. They're helpful. You can get such a variety of things. You can get home, beauty, health, all sorts of, just, it's a wide variety, heavily discounted. There, there are some things though that can get very high up price-wise. They also have the option to donate to plant trees and all these cute little things, which is awesome. And each box does come with a little magazine with, that you can read. It tells you all about the products, ways to use things that are in there. Just a whole bunch of different things. It's such a variety. There's crossword puzzles in there as well. Overall, I, I kind of regret Birchbox and Ips Ipsy. <laughs> Savage X Fenty and Just Fab. I'm probably not going to be actively purchasing for, from and going to leave. Just kind of pause and keep hitting skip until I can figure out what how to use the rest of those credits for Fenty. That would be helpful. But as of right now, I'm not looking to purchase any more clothing and lingerie. BoxyCharm and FabFitFun are just my all-time favorites. And maybe one day I will switch and go back to Boxy. Charm Premium Boxy Lux, but we will see. As of right now, that is my thoughts on subscription boxes and subscription services. <laughs> I really do hope that you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell to see more of my goofy face. I upload every Tuesday and Friday, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, and I upload every unboxing as soon as I can, which is, you know, pretty perfect for this type of video to mention that, right? I know that I'll be having a box arriving soon for May, but this is going to be up probably in June. So, sorry. <laughs> Trying to do some pre-filming here and just getting things done. And I will see you all in my next video. I love you all. 
Bye. Also, this look here is going to be in a video all about why I want to do YouTube as a job and it's a chit chat get ready with me. I use the <laughs> everything I mentioned earlier and the eyes were done with the Violet Boss All of You Forever palette. And I'll see you all later. Bye. Mm -hmm.